Hi, I'm Paul Preston. I wrote the book Mother, Father, Death. It was published by Harvard a little over 25 years ago. I'm going to talk a little bit about myself, but mostly I wanted to talk about the book and how it came to be. Both of my parents, Mike and Fran Preston, are deaf. I grew up in a very small rural town in Illinois. I'm an only child in Okoda, as we sometimes like to call ourselves, and my folks, they were the only deaf people in town. The book Mother, Father, Deaf was originally my doctoral dissertation in medical anthropology. For my dissertation, I wanted to write an ethnography of CODAs. I didn't call them that at the time. I wanted to write an ethnography of adults who were hearing who had grown up with deaf parents, like myself. So when I went to my dissertation committee with this idea, they were a little skeptical. They said, well, you know, an ethnography is a description of a group of people who share a culture, who share beliefs and values, who share an identity. These people are adults. Maybe as children they had deaf parents, but now they're adults. They've gone on with their lives. They have their own families, their own interests. They didn't see that there could be that much that would tie this group together. But they said, well, you know, go check it out. Go investigate. Go, go interview a few people. And that's what I did for my dissertation. At first, I planned to interview 50 coders, and then it grew to 100 coders, and then it grew to 150 coders, because I kept getting contacted by people all over the country who said, I'd be willing to share my story with you. I'd be willing to share my history. And at the same time, I heard from other people who said, well, you know, I've never really had a chance to talk with anybody about growing up with deaf parents. I'd like to talk with you. So I traveled all over the place. I interviewed CODAs of different ages, different races, different ethnicities, CODAs with two deaf parents, CODAs with one deaf parent, CODAs whose parents signed, CODAs whose parents were oral, CODAs who were involved in the field of deafness, and CODAs who had nothing to do with deafness, CODAs who themselves signed, and CODAs who knew almost no sign at all. Because I wanted to get as broad a range, as diverse a range as possible in order to get a sense of, well, was there really something that connected these people, or were these just 150 separate lives? And that's what I investigated. So what did I find out? What did I write about? Well, first, that to different degrees, most of us, many of us, were bilingual. We used a sign language and an oral language, a spoken language. That was how we communicated with the world and how the world communicated with us. And that remains true not just as children, but as adults, that both speaking and signing are important parts of our lives. Sign language, in fact, for many of us was our primary language. It was the way that we best can communicate with the world, and that remains true. It's an integral part of who we are. The second thing I wrote about was that, again, to different degrees, many of us are culturally deaf. Now, somebody would say, well, how on earth is that possible? How is it possible that someone who can hear can be culturally deaf? Well, we grew up not just with our deaf parents and a deaf family, but we grew up within a deaf community. We experienced the behaviors and the values of that community, of that culture. We learned that deafness was normal. We learned the, the strength and the vibrancy. We, had, we, we were part of that community. And that's part of who we are. And at the same time, many of us experienced some of the oppression and the stigma that deaf people and we experienced because they and we are different. But maybe the most central thing I wanted to write about was that we were at this intersection. We are the intersection of these two worlds, the deaf world, the hearing world, deaf culture, hearing culture. These two worlds, these two cultures are part of who we are. So the question, are we deaf? Are we hearing? Are we deaf and hearing? Sorting out our identities, how does that work? And that's what I wanted to write about. So when the book came out, it was well received. A lot of university programs picked it up and continue to use it. But I think the best feedback I got was from CODAs themselves.
Kodas who told me, Kodas who told me, you know, this book has helped me understand who I am. This book has helped me understand that there are other people out there who share my story. And this book can help other people in the world understand me better. And I think, you know, as an anthropologist, the best feedback you can get is the, from the people that you write about, the people you describe. The people who will tell you what you've written is true. What you've written reflects my experience, reflects who I am. And you know, that's absolutely the best feedback you can get.